Hey everybody, this is Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. It's summer, Bermuda lawn, plenty of rain, and the whole yard is brown. What's going on? Well, I'm going to tell you in this video and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Let's get started right now. Alright, this is not what your Bermuda grass is supposed to look like. You think, man, you must be in an extreme drought. Well, actually, no. We've had uh, more rain this year than I can remember in quite some time. So let me show you what's going on, and you probably figured it out from the title of the video. But look at what's in the yard, and there are hundreds, maybe thousands of them. You see a little buddy right there? And there's another one, and he's hungry. And look at that one. And if you go over the entire yard, they are all over this yard eating. All right, so is it dead? No, the grass is not dead. There's plenty of, uh, you know, plenty of armyworms. I mean, I'm just showing you one little section. I mean, the whole yard is like that. It's army worms. The whole area is just army worms. And you can see they've actually already taken a severe toll on this yard. Now, it will come back. I'm not, I'm not concerned about it being dead at all. But let me show you something pretty interesting, and I'm going to just talk to you about it, how to control the army worms. And uh, I just want to give you some information first. Look at this grass over here on the bottom side of the driveway. And what kind of grass is that? So, in other words, Bermuda. What is this? Hopefully, some of you know. This is centipede grass. And you notice the army worms have not bothered it one bit. So, and I was telling somebody the other day, I said, I don't think I've seen an army worm in two years. And this year, I'm getting call after call after call. And that seems to be the way it goes. It, one year, you'll get hit real bad and then you know i won't see a single one the next year so uh this year seems to be a bad year for army worms and wanted to show you what they look like on the video but i called my friend james the other day and some of you that are regulars on the channel have uh, seen james on on my channel and i was asking him about army worms and here's what uh, some of the information he gave me i said james uh, it seems like they they definitely like bermuda grass and yes they like bermuda what about some of the other warm season grasses and he told me he said bermuda's number one on their list then would be saint augustine then zoysia and he said they won't touch centipede at all and that's interesting they'll pull up on this yard and you see the centipede looks like it hadn't been touched and the bermuda is totally brown where they've been hammering it and it looks like the homeowner probably just mowed it short uh, which is fine because like i said I, I do think it will come back i'm going to show you in a minute what i'm going to use um, to kill the army worms. This is the other thing James was telling me. He said, you know, sometimes um, the army worms, what they'll do is, and, and just, like, again, yeah, don't be overly concerned that they're necessarily going to kill your grass. I tell people sometimes it, it looks like somebody did a really horrible job mowing the grass, um, you know, scalped it or whatever, turned it brown. But I got some pictures from a customer today, and it was brown in one area, but still green in others. And it's kind of like the army worms just started feeding in that area. Um, and then, you know, working their way out. And the customer was saying, yeah, it, it seems to be spreading. I'm gonna show you the product and tell you the rate that I'm using to apply it at. And I am gonna put an Amazon affiliate link in the description for that particular product in case you wanna get it for yourself. But yeah, they've been bad this year. I don't think they're gonna kill your grass, but they can make it look ugly for a while. And hopefully uh, you get to see what these army worms look like. The other thing um, that James was telling me today as I was talking to him about them, he said, you see, look at these, like they're out there eating on the stalks and everything like that. He says, sometimes if you don't see them, like this yard, you can't help but see them. But he says, sometimes if you don't see the army worms, then uh, sometimes if you see the damage, they might be eating at night. But if they don't get full at night, they'll come out and eat during the day. So these guys, I mean, it, it, it's, just, it's just crazy. Let me see if I can just give you a sense of how many there are in the yard as I pass through here. And you can just see them all over the yard. Look at those guys right here. Army worm, army worm. They're out here on the sidewalk, you know, just they're everywhere. So anyway, hopefully this can help you understand if you've had plenty of rain and your yard just turned brown all of a sudden, go out there and see if you see about 10,000 caterpillars eating your yard. And that's a good sign. And these guys, unfortunately for them, are not gonna be alive much longer, but um, it will definitely help the yard start to recover. You can see the product I'm using. This is Telstar Professional Insecticide. It's bifenthrin is the active ingredient, and the rate that I'm applying it is 
one ounce per gallon of water, one ounce per thousand square feet. So when I say one ounce per gallon of water, I'm talking about if you're gonna mix it in like a little two gallon handheld or maybe a backpack sprayer, then you literally can just put one ounce for every gallon of water. Now in this situation, I'm actually gonna mix it in my ride on spreader sprayer here and it sprays a quart per thousand. So I mix it at a stronger because it's spraying a lot less um, less volume. So it's only, you know, at a quart per thousand, it takes about 11 gallons in this machine to spray an acre. So I put 43 ounces in 11 gallons of water to give me at that same rate, that one uh, ounce per thousand square feet. So anyway, I've been getting a lot of calls, so I went ahead and did that. That way, when I get a call, I can just ride over the yard and spray it real quick and knock it out. But that's the product I'm using, Talstar, and it's just crazy seeing all these army worms and what they do to lawns. Hopefully this shows you exactly what your lawn can look like if it gets hit with army worms. Hey, I appreciate you watching the video. I am Jason Creel. If you're in the lawn care business, go over to lawncarelife.com. A lot of resources available for you there. If you like YouTube videos, go ahead and subscribe. We got over 600 on the channel. Click on my channel name, Lawn Care Life. Go check out the other videos. And I will talk to you guys later. Appreciate you watching. Bye. Bye.